Hi, my name is John, J-O-N, my last name is Drux, D-R-U-C-K-S. Need to look at my entire Facebook page, it's my book Change 2016, follows Change 2015, Change 2014, Change 2013, and Change 2012. Because God knows we need change, and we need change now, and I was walking down the Venice Boardwalk, and lo and behold, I see an artist's rendition of our first Jesuit Pope in the long secret of history of the Catholic Church. That's telling you something, people. Pope Francis and our first so-called president, first black so-called president. What's his name born and who knows where? And under here is, do you know the truth? And that, that's the question. Do you know the truth on these people? first Jesuit Pope replaced the first Pope to resign in almost 600 years. And the Vatican was struck twice by lightning on, day, on that day, twice for good measure. Again, we have our first black so-called president. We, we don't even know who he is, where he was born. And Barack Obama has biblical meaning in end times. And I pose the question is, is abomination being led into the abomination of desolation? I don't think that that is. We're living out a script of history books. Because uh, our first Jesuit Pope comes from Argentina, hails from Argentina. Some recent declassified CIA reports suggest that Hitler was allowed to escape to, from, to Argentina. Do you call that a coincidence? My life being ruled under secrets and lies is one big coincidence. And Einstein said, coincidences are God's way of remaining anonymous. Who am I to argue with Einstein? The truth of the end, our choice. And anytime you have a first, it could be the last. And is that the plan for the new world order? And I believe it is. And when I was talking to a friend on the Venice Boardwalk about our first black president, our first Jesuit pope, being the last, possibly, and, and you need to look at the correspondence dinner, that laughter from a couple nights ago, where our so-called president said it was his last correspondence dinner and asked the question, is it the final correspondence dinner ever? And then he says, the end of the republic has never looked so good. And, but when I, when I talked to about the, our first black president and our first Jesuit pope bringing us down to the new world order, he said it may not be the first black president, it may be the first woman president. Because the only people they hate worse than black people is women. And I had asked him twice what he said, because that's one of the best quotes I've heard in a long time. And I watched the Brotherhood walk by me all day long. The Brotherhood of Liars. And I believe the message of the Spirit of Truth, John 16, 13, is the truth of the end. The people must stand and demand the truth, starting with 9-11, the wars, and the New World Order. One thing leads to another. 9-11 plus wars equals New World Order. I believe they lead to the death of all of us. The plan? I believe America has been dealt the end game. It follows the rigged royal game of monopoly, part of the rigged royal game of life. Death follows life. The object of the end game? The truth will set us free. John 832, free at last, free at last. The words of MLK. His dream of, of a black man in the White House is our nightmare. Free and independent. The final words of JFK's secret side speech, and I believe independent was the key word directed at the evil royal elites we declared our independence from. The Brotherhood that we declared our independence from. The secret societies. I believe everything that JFK warned us about in his secret society speech over 50 years ago is ruling us today. I believe America is living out the JFK story. Literally living it out until we live no more. Since the people didn't stand for the truth on the assassination of JFK, we received 9-11 decades later. What's next? A nuke? Obama nation? Apocalypse. You see a lot of that these days, don't you? Movie scripts. And I think we're living in a script. We need to stand for the truth now, people. You know the truth. 9-11 lie plus war is lies equals new world order plan based on lies. Demand the truth. 9-11 plus wars equals new world order. Stand for the truth. Again, my name's John, J-O-N.
My last name is Drux, D-R-U-C-K-S. You need to look at my entire Facebook pages. My book, Change 2016, follows Change 2015, Change 2014, Change 2013, and Change 2012. Because God knows we need change, and we need change now. Peace.